Here's another argument. If I'm at the beach, then I get sunburned. I'm not at the beach, so I won't get sunburned. We want to decide whether this argument is valid or a fallacy. It should be clear, just by looking at it, you should be able to figure out that it's a fallacy because potentially you could get sunburned somewhere else. So it kind of makes sense that this is not a valid argument. But we're going to show that using the truth table. As always, we first break this down into premises and conclusion. And notice the premises are, if I'm at the beach, then I get sunburned, and I'm not at the beach. And then this word so serves the purpose of therefore. As always, we start by writing these pieces as P and Q. So I'm at the beach is P, I get sunburned is Q. So the first premise is if P then Q. That's what we have there. The second premise is I'm not at the beach, not P. The conclusion is so I won't get sunburned, not Q. Full argument therefore is P implies Q and not P, therefore not Q. Again, the truth table is given to us, and you notice that this is not a valid argument because the argument column is not a tautology. This is called the fallacy of the inverse, where we have a statement like P implies Q. We invert P and try to say that the inverse of Q must also be true. And that's not necessarily the case. So this is called the fallacy of the inverse. It's not a valid argument, it's a fallacy.